They thought it literally died in the west each evening, and they prayed it would rise again in the east the next morning. The king's journey through death therefore paralleled the path the sun took every night. The biggest fear for the ancient Egyptian, if the king and the sun god will not make this trip, the world will end. Seti's voyage will follow an afterlife version of the Nile River. Tonight, he must pass through 12 gates, one for each hour of the night. But it's no cruise down the Nile. Each gate is guarded by writhing serpents. Their job is to guard the gates against anyone who is not pure enough or who does not have the right magical strength to pass from one level to the next. Like many modern religious believers, Egyptians seeking eternal life needed a pure spirit. But they also needed magical knowledge. Seti cannot pass through the gates unless he knows and speaks the secret name of the snakes that guard them. If the king will say the name, it shows in the mind of the ancient Egyptian that he is the right one to go. He is the pure one. He is the magical one. And if he will say it, he will go through. This is why they write it so carefully in the text. Seti was supposed to learn the names by reading them on the walls of his tomb. 